weren't going to do a stream tonight. No, we were. It was our night off. But, uh, it was either yes. night off or game night. But I got a message from Drone Tech. Said, "Hey, why don't we have a chat about um, the you know anti-lockdown protests and things like that?" So here we are, and here's Drone Tech. There he Gotta is. Got to be done, man. Got to be done. Hello, baby. Hey, what's up? Look at <laughs> that, Graham, man. You got so much one. energy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird because kids kids really don't trust me at first because I'm too I like I'm not like a lot of adults so they they expect me to be like good evening and I'm like hello and yeah so kids are often very cautious but then after a bit I click and I'm like oh, always with the kids were you he didn't even yeah. mention kids what I'm just saying yeah. no 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 he just it, said you were full of energy dude just say thank you you don't yeah, have to talk about how well you relate to children I'm just saying kids are always dead cautious but then they love me after a bit like I re I'm I've been after I'm really missing them. Them. it's not grooming <laughs> right right it's not grooming it's just be that's fine well the, the lockdown protests tell us your yes. thoughts on it dude <clears throat> so um Right now, basically what's happening is the exact it's like Groundhog Day. We're doing the same thing all over again that happened during the Tea Party under Obama. The, the they're gonna basically in America, their only legitimate protest is a Democrat Party left wing protest. The only legitimate election is one where the Democrats win it, and that's kind of what they're setting up in this country. And uh so this protest uh, right off the bat, they're doing all the same stuff they did with the Tea Party. They're calling it racist. Uh, they're saying I I've seen a lot of people in the media saying that they're breaking the law and, uh, and all this kind of thing. And they're not breaking any laws. There's no laws that they're breaking. These uh, guidelines that they have put in place are not laws and uh, they're very vague. They have no thresholds uh, in which to break a law. Like there's no there's no threshold at which they're like, oh, you've now broken the law. And, uh, you know, a lot of the demonization I see against them, I'll say right off the bat, they all should be wearing PPE. They should be wearing masks. Yeah. They should be wearing gloves. They should be recognizing the distance. And if they recognize the, the six foot, their protest would look even bigger, you know, because it would spread out even further. And Didn't I think that'd be... Didn't yeah, they, they just did that in Israel. Israel. Yeah, and it was they quite really powerful. protest fight. against Netanyahu and they yeah. all stood. And it did. It looked quite amazing, actually. Mm. Right. Mm. Well, they should do all those things, and I hope they do. Whoever's organizing these things, that's a no-brainer to me. Like, why would you not be doing that? But I guess you can't force everybody to wear them, and so you're going to always have people that don't. But other than that, like, the protests are peaceful. They're completely lawful. They're pro-Constitution. And ultimately, yeah. these are just people who want to get back to work because we're all running out of money. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. scary. No, I totally we're, agree we're with you. We're seeing it that. start to come undone here because we have the same thing. You know, we've got all this guidance, which is enforceable by the police with a fine. Uh, but now the police have started calling it legislation, which is a, a new phrase that I heard turn up on the news tonight. And the um, the narrative has changed to um, we will beat COVID with the lockdown. And the government have very dangerously started piping that one out as well. Mm. But we're, we're getting much the same thing where, um, you know, we've got this very vague legislation and the police are going out breaking up picnics and shit like that. You're obviously not from the same family, which, okay. But they're also stopping people and saying, where are you going? Mm. What are uh, you doing going now? Into, going into people's front gardens. Yeah. Telling them to get inside. It's like I am literally in my garden right now. Like, and and not only that, gardens are specified in the, in what was passed. It's like you, you know, your household includes your garden. They were of all the of all the failings of the legislation that was actually mentioned. Yes. It's insane, you know that we're. So, but I've noticed the traffic. The last few days is increasing. Yeah, me too. I think people are slowly coming to the. Do you know what? I'm just going to start. We're yeah, going to make our own decisions, but business has to start opening. Because I had, I've had this discussion with a few people. Well, if we come out of lockdown, the second wave, it's like, guys, it's not going to go anywhere. What are we going to do? Lockdown for another 12 months till there's a vaccine. Is that what we're going to do? Because I won't make it. Nobody I know will make it. No country can survive that. No. And that will kill people. That will kill people very effectively that might otherwise not have died from COVID-19. Right, right. So, you know, what about mental health? You know, the, the more this goes on, the worse that's going to be for a great many yeah. people. 
Yeah. What about all these people that need surgeries, which they deem elective, which, you know, might be life saving? You know, our friend Robert Noir, who I think has been on here, uh, his brother uh, can't get the help. Uh, he has seizures and he can't get the uh, surgery he needs right now because of this. And he's having these horrible seizures. So, uh, w- like what happens to people like him? Mm. And so like, I feel like there. Yeah, there's all these things people aren't taking into account. And it's really weird to me how this used to be about flattening the curve. But now it's like it just as we all kind of suspected they're just coming up with new excuses to keep us. I mean, what are we at some point? We all got to go back out in the world. And if we get COVID, we get COVID or whatever, you know. I don't know if you've seen um, here in the UK every Thursday, we do have our own little religious gathering at 8 p.m. And people have been flooding the streets of London. No social distancing, blowing fucking trumpets that just spray spit everywhere. Um, but that, that, that again, that's that's the only sanctioned worship in this country right now, and it's Story to the NHS. The I should have worn my HP Lovecraft shirt. Absolutely, yeah, I've got I've got the tattoo on me anyway. So, um, I love take, I love me some HP Lovecraft. That. Yeah, I can't take that off. Um, a woman was shamed on her local Facebook group for not joining in with the clap for carers on a Thursday night. Now, she had to explain herself. She said, you know, I've got a young baby. I've been up most of the night with it. I fell asleep. And people are like, well, shameful. Like around where I live, they're all out there banging saucepans. Then they're all on the local community group saying, good turnout, guys. I'm praying. I am praying one of them has a testicular fortitude to say, for those people at number whatever, they didn't come out. Oh, I would have a fucking party with that. I, I would have the time of my life. I've told my daughter they're cheering for Trump, <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> She's so confused. She I think we should organize a clap for Trump on a, yeah. on a perhaps a Friday evening. Let's all clap for Trump. Let's do um, it. But I, I don't, I, I mean, if people want to go out and clap their hands to the NHS, good for them. Amen. Yeah, I, it's I don't good. get it. I don't understand it. I it, think it's I think it's terribly patronizing. Yeah. Um, it's just to make them feel good. Oh, I support the NHS far more than you do. Yes. I, I, for me, though, the, the, that's a powder keg there because the, the contrast between, you know, the police walking onto your property and telling you you're not allowed to sit in your own garden compared to the police all standing there whilst it people are the crowding on a bridge, like just a fucking festival crowd, all mm-hmm. cheering and screaming and throwing the spit and voice everywhere. And I'm like, that can't go on for much longer because the, you know, the people who have been, the people who are staying indoors all the time, they're going to see this and be like, fuck you, man. And, well, and I think the people have lost family members. It's like those hospitals. already happening here. It's the doctor's dancing videos, you know, the nurses dancing. Yeah. And God. when you're watching that, man, I get it. You know, they're just letting off some steam. But you know what? Keep it to your fucking selves because someone's yeah. parent has just died. Yeah. And they yeah. see you fucking dancing. Come on. Yeah. If, if my if my mum dies of COVID, you're not going to let me stand next to her as she goes. You're not going to let me choose to do that. But you can you know, never which, sing in a dance. But, but you can fucking run around like that. You can all stand on a fucking bridge every Thursday. And scream in each other's faces. You know, where's the... say anything about it, you're a monster. Yeah. You're a monster. Right. You can't say anything. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking sick of all of this virtue signaling shit that's, like, very predominant right now. I'm on Facebook on a neighborhood group for the neighborhood I'm in. And Jesus, it's just like every day we put ch- a chalk game on the sidewalk for everybody. Oh, everybody's putting things in their windows for everybody. Oh, we're doing a food drive, even though everybody, nobody's starving or anything, but we're going to do a food drive. Like we're all, it, oh, I want to barter with people. You want to barter? Like we're in the apocalypse or something. It's just, I'm so tired of all of it. <laughs> I remember one neighbor wanted some um, fast acting yeast. So Mrs. Hewitt had found two packets at the back of the cupboard because she did some baking a few months ago. So I said to him, right, you know, we've got some if you want it. He said, I'll let you know if that's the right sort. Okay. So a couple of days later, there's a knock at my door. I've come from my yeast, which instantly my hackles. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, no problem. There you go. How's, how's the wife? Because his wife's been very poorly and, you know, kids doing all right. Yeah, yeah. And then he starts telling me about how he kept them on a school regime he is that guy and i'm thinking how do i extricate myself from this conversation shall i just walk away but no he gave me my out because he said uh, i'll see you out here at eight o'clock i went 
sorry, what he went, I'll see you out at eight o'clock. What for? He went, well, to, to clap for the NHS. I went, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> and that seemed to end the conversation just fine. But what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of going out at 7.30 next Thursday and banging a saucepan just to see if it confuses anybody. Well, everybody who doesn't know, you can just shame them. Like, <laughs> not banging your pan for night. social distancing? Poor show last night, guys. I was there. I was doing my bit. Where were you? And when they say, what was it for? Just go, you should know. <laughs> yes. Shame. <laughs> I might actually give that a try just to see what happens. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in a couple of whoops. I can't do them high pitch though. My, my voice doesn't do that. Can you can you do it with Graham recording, being your cameraman with a um, it's okay to be white sign? <laughs> We're clapping for white people. <laughs> <laughs> with this one, I'm not allowed to. Yeah, it exactly. <laughs> I might do that next Thursday and see if she'll film it. <laughs> Bang your pan. Bang your pan for white people. There you go. Just, just in the middle of the road, though. Like not at my window. Like actually in the in the middle of the street. I live That's on a you've, got, you've got to shout as well. Oh, God bless the. Just saying, you're doing it for Bane people, actually. Yeah. Then people might actually join in. <laughs> then you might get people joining in. I know. You might well, actually that might dude, that's brilliant. Have I, him tape it. You might get like 50 people in there banging their fucking pots because you're out there banging your pot. That would mate, be awesome. I live in a I live in a BAME area and none of them are clapping. They don't give a fuck. They're all, <laughs> they're all fucking Iraqi refugees, mate. They ain't fucking virtue oh, yeah. thing. <laughs> what just circling back to because I'm sure we've all talked about all this stuff a million times, but just circling well, back to the um, but not with yeah. you. That makes it special. Please. <laughs> right. But um, as far as the lockdown protesters go, one of the things that the media and uh, their critics are using uh, to, to attack them is saying that, oh, they're endangering people. They're endangering lives. But here's the thing. People can still go to the grocery store. And, I, and at least where I live, pretty much nobody's wearing masks or anything. You see a, a few people in their car wearing it. I don't know why they're wearing it in their car. But... Uh, uh, other than that, people are just going to the grocery store. You're telling me that that's less dangerous than a couple hundred people out in open air uh, mm. protesting? I, I don't think so. And so it just seems like the typical media thing of unless it's uh, advancing our agenda, we're going to demonize it. And they're even trying with the whole racist thing that uh, this guy is going around to all the uh, he went he showed up at the Bernie protest with a Nazi flag. Right. And then he showed up. In which the media was like, oh, he's not associated with Bernie. He's just a troll. Well, he showed up to one of these uh, anti-lockdown protests. And, of course, the media is like, oh, look, they're all Nazis. John said, always a pleasure. We need to do this more often whenever you can get permission. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm available to you, to you anytime, Aiden, for anything. <laughs> Stay on after we end the broadcast. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, dude, tomorrow night we're back on. Guys, everybody else, we're back tomorrow night at 11 for our lock in, the pub, whatever you want to call it. Bring some booze, come get shit faced with us. We'll put a link up. You can come and join the stream up to six people at a time. We alternate the boring ones. So it'll, it'll all be good. And Smoke Steve's going to go on his trampoline for us. What more could you want? So be amazing. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow night. Bye bye. <laughs>